What's up YouTube? It's your boy Javon Stunner and I'm coming to you tonight with a computer mod, not a controller mod. Um, in this particular video, I will be showing you my install of a solid state hard drive. I'm going with the 320 series Intel and it's 120 gigabytes. Now you may ask, why am I going to solid state versus a normal um, hard drive um, and right now I've got a 500 gigabyte Western Digital 700 uh, 7200 excuse me RPM drive in here um, and it's fine for what I'm doing but I am moving my whole platform in a different direction what I'm doing is trying to mainstream my whole editing system and really just mainstream my whole workflow and only keep on the hard drive essential um, operating systems like the new Final Cut, uh, Photoshop, um, obviously the OS and I'm gonna try to sneak my bootcamp partition on there where um, I've got some other stuff that I, that I desperately need um, but this should be a fairly easy uh, upgrade. Um, the solid state drive setup uh, should be pretty cool. Let's do a quick unboxing and talk about this thing. Um, this particular drive runs about $200. Um, I bought it locally at Best Buy and I hadn't opened it up until just now. So let's look at it and see what's going on. And I went with the Intel drive because for one, it is Intel. And for two, I, uh, let's see. Um, for two is Intel. I mean, Intel makes good stuff. Intel makes a lot of processors. Um, they they just been in the game for a long time. So I thought, why? What better processor? Uh, excuse me. What better uh, hard drive, solid state than an Intel? And if you look at it here, it's nice and shiny. 120 gigabyte hard drive, um, and it comes with a lot of different stuff here. It's, this is kind of funky, this little cable, if you want to use it externally, which I am not. Uh, it's a two USB into a SATA connection. And it goes like this and plugs into two USB ports. So it is a beast. And this is a SATA or serial ATA drive. Um, I'm going to be taking the bottom off my computer. I'm not going to bore you with how to do that. It's basically... A screw. Well, I gotta take the case off first, but let's talk about that while I'm at that point. There is uh, there's screws all along here. One, two, three, four. One there, a couple around the bottom. Bottom pops off, pop the hard drive out, pop the new one in. Um, that's pretty much it. I will show you a before and after of the old drive. And then once I take the cover off, and then I'll show you the new drive. And this is just all the different stuff that comes with it. I like this drive too because it came with so many goodies in the box. I mean, everything that you need to be successful is in this box. Uh, solid state, you get a Speed Demon sticker, which I think is sweet. I will actually be using that. Got an installation guide, which I won't be using. Got a bunch of screws, which I probably won't be using. Got a piece of crap screwdriver, which you guessed it I won't be using. Because I've got my own Torx and um, regular screwdrivers and there is a tray for mounting this if you were to mount it in a uh, desktop computer and you got your SATA connector so uh, I've got a lot of good stuff in here that I won't be using but I'll keep it just in case I need parts okay guys so I just finished popping all the screws off I'm gonna pop the cover on this guy I hope and yeah, we should see the inside shortly Aluminum cover is off, and I cleaned it up just so you can see. Ah. Alright, cover is off. I'm gonna stand that up next to my guitar. Make sure you are grounded before you go to fooling around in here. Now, let's look closer in here and see if there's anything that we need to see. Um, just to show you, damn, there's the hard drive that's in here. This Western Digital, this Western Digital 500 gig drive. There's the fans and the super drive which a lot of people are taking out uh, I'm gonna keep mine for now and that's just a personal preference because I actually use the thing go figure at work but I am gonna 
hit this inside with some air because it is quite dusty in here. A little bit of Sasha hair. I'm on end. While I'm in here, I, I always do a quick inspection. I check everything out, make sure everything is cool. Like that my fans look like they are working. When they do. I'm running a little low on there right now, sorry. Um, but I don't need much because everything looks freaking awesome. Um, next thing I'm going to do is pop this drive out. And it is super duper easy to do. You have to remove this connector and there's a couple other little things you got to do. And it is gone. Alright guys, that was pretty quick. I popped it out. Um, here's the screw right here. This little screw. Uh, let's touch here. Find the field. Probably it may not focus on it because I'm so close. But anyway, you get the picture. Boom, just popped out the set of connector for this drive. Now I need to use my Torx drive to... I got to take off one, two, three, four, so I can put them on this new drive. I just need to look at it to make sure everything looks beautimous. And what do you know it does? Now man, this drive, comparing these two drives, this drive is like nothing in my hand, which is pretty cool. I'm excited and scared all at the same time. Um, that's how it looks sat in. I don't want to, you know, do anything crazy. I had to put the, let me, let me practice safety first, guys, and put this rail on before the, the hard drive pops out. And y'all say, oh my God, he just ruined that computer. That's the new solid state of here. And it went in fairly, fairly easy. Um, let's see, what do I need to do next? I've got to boot up. Once I put the cover back on, I'm just going to tell you what I've got to do. Um, I'm going to boot up from my other drive, which is this one. I'm going to format this drive. Then I'm going to do a clean re uh, a clean install of OS X on that. And I'll show you the, I'll show you it once that clean install is. I'm also going to do the trim hack so that that works. I won't show you that because I don't know what in the hell I'm doing, but um, I will be working on it. So stand by. I'm going to put it back together. The next time you see it, hopefully it'll be up and running and we'll look at it and see what you guys think.